Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 12th of January. The good news, it's clear. We'll see sunshine today, but the bad news, it is cold. Coldest air so far this season. Let's take a look at the Skycam images at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. First off, coming from Trustville. That's the uh, Chalkville Mountain Road uh, camera. You can see down below, uh, there's nobody out there. And, uh, uh, you know, some roads are dry. Where the roads are dry, you're fine. But where there was lingering moisture last night, it is all ice because we are way below freezing. And uh, we're going to stay below freezing all day today. But the good news, the sun will be out. The air is very dry. And that's going to help things. But, uh, again, for now, for areas north and east of Birmingham, be careful. Very careful. All day today. Uh, we'll look right down uh, downtown Birmingham on 20th Street. That's the uh, Daniel Building camera. And off in the distance, you can see the uh, 20th Street uh, uh, going up uh, Red Mountain there. Uh, downtown Jasper. Still see some snow on the ground on the grass, but the roads look pretty dry there. And finally, from Mount Cheehaw, goodness, that is all snow and ice. You know, they had a good uh, snowpack up there. Then they had freezing drizzle and freezing rain uh, for a pretty good uh, chunk of the day on uh, Monday. And it is just a winter wonderland. Watch that sky cam when the sun comes up. It's gorgeous. The views are unbelievable, but uh, don't try and get there because you can't. All right, uh, very cold look right there. Strong upper low coming through New England, producing a whopper of a winter storm up there. And uh, down here, it's just cold. It's cold as 14 this morning in Haleyville. Coleman, 16. Gadsden, 19. Of course, that's where the big snowpack is. Uh, down this way, Birmingham sitting at 21. Many of the sky watchers have slipped down to 18 or 19 around here. And uh, tomorrow morning and Friday morning should be even colder. Look at that uh, nose of Arctic air coming down the pike. Uh, the core of the cold air up there in North Dakota, 20 below zero this morning. Ouch. And uh, that'll be settling in here for uh, the next uh, couple of days. We'll stay below freezing, we think, all day today. Maybe mid-30s tomorrow, but uh, finally Friday afternoon will begin to modify. And around the nation, clearly the big issues are up in the northeast where we've got uh, winter storm warnings. Uh, New York City and Boston and... Uh, Again, some winter weather advisories for uh, snow showers in the wake of that thing. But around here, the good news will be pretty dry. Here's the QPF chart for the next five days, valid through uh, Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Now, this thing all of a sudden is showing rain over north, uh, north and west Alabama. Uh, we're thinking the rain holds off until uh, just beyond this period, Monday of next week. But uh, the guys at HPC must uh, see something we don't. Let's take a look and see what we see this morning. This is the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System. The 06Z run valid at 12 noon today. This is, uh, as we often do, uh, we'll show you the look at 500 millibars. Now about 18 to 20,000 feet up. Strong uh, vortex over New England. Energy passing north of here, but the air is bone dry. Look at the cold air advection. Height lines are perpendicular to the thickness lines. What does that mean? That means cold air is blowing in here simply stated, and uh, uh, I don't think we see freezing today. The GFS is showing a high of 28 now, and I think that's right because I understand this area is coming over a snowpack. It won't have time to modify. Uh, we've got like 31 in our forecast, but I think 28 might be closer to the truth. And you factor in that north wind, the wind chill index is going to be in the teens most of the day. Uh, tomorrow, same thing. Cold will start the day down there in the mid-teens. Uh, the GFS is showing a high of 32, the uh, NAM at 36. And again, we think the GFS is better because it apparently understands the snow cover that's down. And again, it's going to be pretty breezy tomorrow. Uh, the winds will kind of veer around to the south, the west, southwest at, again, 10 to 20. It's going to be uh, still a fairly breezy day. And then Friday, that's when the high is right on top of us. And we think Friday morning will be the coldest morning. Uh, the GFS is showing 15, but with a snowpack, uh, I think we'll be closer to 12 or 13 and understand uh, that good snow area north of Birmingham. I think we'll see some single-digit lows Friday morning. But the good news, we start to warm up Friday afternoon. The high will get into the uh, mid-40s. And Saturday will be a great day, sunny with mid-50s. Finally, where we should be for this time of the year. It'll feel like a heat wave. All right, uh, Sunday... 
we've got uh, this trough axis beginning to form west of the state. And again, you can see how the GFS keeps the uh, moisture uh, west of here Sunday. Rain breaks out over uh, Arkansas, west Mississippi, south Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. And again, that really brings it in here Monday. There's Monday at noon. And even then, it's still got the uh, bulk of the moisture west of here. But that would come in here Monday and mainly Monday night. And this run is a little faster with the rain getting out of here. Tuesday, it's got a surface low developing to the east, and the core of the rain on by, maybe some uh, lingering uh, light rain or drizzle in the wake of that thing. For now, we're just going to mention a chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday. We'll fine-tune the forecast as we get closer. And then Wednesday, it's interesting to note how the uh, GFS really doesn't want to bring any cold air in here. Uh, it, in fact, it shows no cold air Wednesday of next week. On the other hand, the European... He's got the 540 line down to Montgomery uh, Wednesday of next week. So a huge discrepancy in the models. For now, we'll go with the European. It's been doing a little better in the medium range and forecast a colder shot in there on uh, Wednesday. But let's go a little deeper. Let's go uh, two more days out there. Look what happens on the 21st back to the GFS. It's got a huge vortex developing over eastern Canada. And really cold air coming down the line. Look at that. That's a 1,048 millibar high uh, with the cold air just north of us and some precipitation. That would be almost icy if that's right. And on the 22nd, here it comes, the uh, 1,040 millibar high at Kansas City and really cold air. So, again, the, the, the clear message, I think we get one more really cold shot in this series. But whether it's the 19th or whether it's the 22nd, it's hard to determine yet. It's kind of out there in voodoo country. And really, look at the 27th all of a sudden. You know, the, the the NAO that we've been showing you has been going positive. But despite that, that's a negative NAO look. So this, I'm not so sure this can happen. Or of course, it can. But uh, the confidence is low. This is the 27th. Huge ridge in the west, trough in the east. And guess what? It's kind of cold. And that looks like an icy mess over North Alabama with a surface low in the Gulf. And then, you know, this is voodoo. We're not forecasting this. Long-time viewers know that. But... Uh, again, we'll see. I'll put it this way. Confidence in the weather for the last 10 days of this month is low. We've seen a lot of evidence. It could be pretty mild, but the operational runs from time to time show you something like that. We'll just see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today, and if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.